really cool to show you. Stand by. This will be actually the second video that I'm going to do as far as explaining some tips about doing trim carpentry. And in this video, I want to talk to you a little bit more about something I do with the pencil, and it's, it's pretty simple. And then also, if you remember in the last video, I showed you about sharpening the pencil the best way. Well, the next tip I can give you on the pencil is to get one of these things. This is a little pencil holder, and it just clips onto your pocket. This will make your life a lot easier if you're going to be doing some trim. And what I like to do is just uh, take my sharp pencil, rip the eraser off, because a lot of times with this, the eraser will get stuck inside this little tube. But I take the eraser off my pencil, and then what I do is I just jam this in here, and this, this little piece of rubber holds your pencil in. Now this little clip right here, right there, that'll just go onto my pocket. So I just put that onto my pocket, and then this just pulls out. And I always have my pencil with me with this thing. And if you've ever done trim carpentry, you know you're always losing your pencil or you're always misplacing it and all that. So I put that right here next to my little sound system phone here. And uh, yeah, so you just pull it out and you can make your marks and then you let it go and it goes right back to where you need it. It's a little tip, but it'll definitely help you. Now the next thing I, I kind of wanted to show you, we're doing some baseboard today. And we're doing the, a lot of these bullnose pieces. I needed to make about 25 of these. I got about 19 here. But this could be a very tedious task if you do it, if you do them one at a time. So I want to show you a couple of methods that you could do to actually measure these a lot quicker than one at a time. Now the first method I'll show you is um, basically you're gonna take your saw, we're gonna do the outside corner first. This is an outside 22 and a half degree cut. And with that, what you could do, you know your tape measure won't hook onto this because it's a little weird. You can see right there how that, it's an outside cut so your tape measure won't really hook onto that. So what I like to do when my tape measure won't hook onto that, is just sometimes I do this, I bring the saw to zero, I hook my tape measure to the slot right here in the saw and then I just line up my piece like that. Now I know that this won't move if my piece is lined up. Then I can do, this is supposed to be 5 8 then I can just measure 5 8 right there. That's one way you can do it. Um, that way is kind of efficient. I usually don't do that, only if I'm going to do like one or two pieces. When I'm going to do this many, what I like to do is just cut one bullnose. Like I have all these cut over here. And then I'll just take this bullnose, I'll push this piece up against the fence, and I'll line that up just like that. And then I'll take my pencil and just straight edge done because these all need to be the same size now my last and in favor method credit goes to John again you're gonna do another you're gonna take your saw this way and we've actually made a mark right here where this needs to line up every time so right on that mark is where we need to be and then we can just cut our outside cut bring it up to the mark and then it's ready to go and you can actually see the light that light on that saw is right on the mark that I made just now. So you can see that it's, an, it's gonna be an accurate cut. And I'll go ahead and make that cut. Now I know somebody's probably gonna say, why is your blade guard off your saw? Well, I, I don't like it on there, so just be safe, okay? Don't try it at home if you're not comfortable with it. Um, but yeah, it's, it gets in the way to me. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. We are going to go ahead and get back to work. Anytime I have some ideas like this, I'll always try to share them. I think these are, these. some people showed me these ideas, so I like to kind of pass it on. I'll see you next time. Thanks.